1. Connect to device. P15 supports to replace the socket. The available sockets to be replaced include BGA110, BGA70, BGA60, BGA315. This time we take BGA110 NAND socket as reference. Insert the NAND socket into P15. Place the BGA110 NAND into the card slot by aligning the pins. Connect the P15 to the computer with a data cable. After connecting, open G8 repair on the computer. Click P15, P15 in the upper left corner. Select the P15 port. Click Connect. When automatic query and automatic Wi-Fi unbind are turned on, P15 will read the NAND data and unbind Wi-Fi automatically. To read system, click Query Info. When the query and Wi-Fi unbind functions are turned on, P15 will read the CISC data and unbind Wi-Fi automatically. If it is not read automatically, you can confirm whether the query and unbind Wi-Fi functions are turned on. Click Connect. It will read the CISC automatically. Or click the Read button manually to read the CISC data. Free Backup CISC and write to the backed up CISC. Click Backup CISC. Select the file save location and click Save. The screen shows that the backup is in progress. The CISC has been backed up successfully. The backup of the CISC is complete. If you check clear all data when backup CISC, all CISC data will be cleared automatically. Click Restore CISC. Find the backup file that needs to be written. Click Open. Wait for the screen to display Restore CISC data OK. Writing to the backup CISC is completed. 4. Revise CISC Fill in the data that needs to be revised. Check the CISC that needs to be modified. There are three quick check options. You can also check them individually manually. Click Write Selected Info. The corresponding check options are displayed on the screen, and the writing is completed. 5. Write into standard system. This NAND is bound to iPhone 12. If we want to install it on iPhone X Max, select iPhone X Max at first, and then directly click Write System. You can see that the screen displays automatically execute format NAND. We can also click Format NAND manually. P15 will remind you that the model bound to the NAND after unbinding is iPhone X Max. After confirming that it is correct, click Confirm. The screen shows that the writing is successful, and the writing to the standard system is completed. 6. Unbind Wi-Fi If Auto Unbind Wi-Fi is turned on when writing or reading the system, the NAND will unbind Wi-Fi automatically. You can also click PCIe Unlock Wi-Fi to unbind with one click. Unbind Wi-Fi with PF15. No need to flash. Use it directly. 7. Check factory code and NAND unbind. Open G8 Repair on computer. Click P13. P15 in the upper left corner. Select the P15 port. Click Connect. After loading is complete, click Query Code, Unbind. Select the factory code mode and click Confirm. The system starts querying. The NAND SN is displayed on the screen. Factory code query and unbinding completed. H1 key to write factory code. Click query code, unbind. Select model and click confirm. After unbinding, write the factory code with one click. Note that the NAND may be bound to multiple iOS devices. If they are matched, 
Click Stop Query. If they do not match or some accessories have not been unbound, please wait to continue. After unbinding, click Query Code, Unbind to Stop, then click Writing Code. Wait for the write process to complete. Write Factory Code successfully. 9. Batch Format Click Batch Format. Take 315 NAND as an example. Select the corresponding model. Click Automatic Format. The screen shows that the NAND has been bound to the general status, indicating that the format is completed. After that, taking out the formatted NAND and put in another one that needs to be formatted. Place the NAND into the P15 NAND socket. Wait for the format to complete. It shows that the NAND has been detected and bound to the general status, indicating that the batch format is complete. 10. Restart Analysis Firstly, connect the P15 to the computer. Then prepare a data cable and connect it to your phone later. Open JC Drawing on computer. Logging in. After logging in, find the mobile phone series and corresponding model that needs to be analyzed. For example, we're going to analyze the motherboard failure points of iPhone XR. Let us find the iPhone series first, and then find the iPhone XR. Double click to open the corresponding location that needs to be analyzed. Click boot in the upper right corner. The device is not detected yet. Click refresh. Click connect. You can see that the result shows that the device is connected. Please power on the motherboard. Then connect P15 to the device that needs to be detected. After connecting, it starts analyzing data automatically. After the analysis is completed, you can repair the motherboard based on the result. Click on the relevant component and the screen will automatically jump to the location of the corresponding component. You can also click on the reel in the upper left corner to display the physical picture of the motherboard. P15 Non-Removal Purple Screen Operation Connect with the device. Connect P15 to the computer with a data cable that suits with the interface of P15. Connect the iOS device to P15 with the USB 3.0 engineering cable that comes with P15. Open JCID repair on computer. Click P15, P15 in the upper left corner. Select the P15 port. Click Connect. The screen shows that the iOS device is connected. Please enter DFU mode. Click on More Features. Click DFU Enter method. You can check the DFU Enter methods of different iOS devices. Let the phone into DFU mode. One key purple. After the phone enters DFU mode, Click purple screen on the upper left corner. Wait for the system to prompt enter purple screen successfully. Then you can read and write the NAND data. 1. Backup system. Click backup system. Select the file save location and click save. The screen shows that the backup is in progress. The system has been backed up successfully. The backup of the system is complete. 2. Revise system. Fill in the data that needs to be revised. Check the system that needs to be modified. There are three quick check options. You can also check them individually manually. Click right selected info. The corresponding checked options are displayed on the screen and the writing is completed. 3. Write into standard system. 
feasible model is iPhone X. Find iPhone X in the iPhone series. Click right this. P15 starts querying all the CISC data and write to the standard CISC data of the selected model. The screen shows that the writing is successful. The writing to the standard CISC is completed. 4. Unbind Wi-Fi If auto unbind Wi-Fi is turned on when writing or reading the CISC, the NAND will unbind Wi-Fi automatically. You can also click PCIe Unlock Wi-Fi to unbind with one click. Unbind Wi-Fi with P15. No need to flash. Use it directly. 5. Japanese iPhone Shutter Sound Off Click Close JP Camera Sound to turn off the camera sound of Japanese iPhone with one click. Six. Right to the backed up system. This phone was originally an iPhone X. We had already messed up the NAND data just now. After exiting the purple screen, the phone cannot be activated. Click Restore System. Find the backup file that needs to be written. Click Open. Wait for the screen to display Write to Backup System successfully. Click Query Info, and all NAND data has been recovered. Exit purple screen. Click Exit Purple on the upper left corner. The phone exits the purple screen and boots up automatically. 